So, I don't know if you can see the sunlight in my face, but I have reached Rangao Beach in Vasai. I drove from Vasai East in Shine all the way to Rangao, which is in the west at the sea. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I've been doing in the past five months is trying to kind of empower myself. One of the problems I felt when I was in Goa was that I didn't know how to ride a scooter and everybody was telling me, oh, come on, Sangeeta, you have to learn this. And I am not confident about a scooter. I'm more like I wanted to kind of figure something out. So that began my journey of, okay, how do I empower myself? How do I not depend on other people and how do I kind of, if I need to buy vegetables, I don't have to call people, but I can, you know, like go by myself and buy vegetables. So one of the things was, shall I get a bike? But with that meant I had to learn, I needed a license, registration, insurance, blah, 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 blah. So that's when I started my journey and then I zeroed in on electric bikes. So one day we went and tried out some bikes and it was pretty cool and interesting. So I thought, okay, let's check it out. So I found, zeroed in on an electric bike by SL Energies and uh, they're a good company and they'd made a very nice bike called uh, G7. My dad was really kind to help me in purchasing this. I arranged for this purchase through India Mart, which I don't think is a wise idea because it came dusty, it came dirty, it, it, it wasn't a very smooth process of delivery. I would not recommend India Mart at all. If you could go to the showroom and buy it, the only challenge with this bike is that it's now out of stock. So that was one of the things that um, I don't know if they have a lot of support in terms of, although you get a warranty, but I don't know if there's a lot of support that you can get from the company. But the bike came and eventually I tried it out in the building. went to the local bike shop, got it serviced, got it washed, and then it kind of looked nice. Then it kind of looked new. But initially when it came, it wasn't looking very nice. I was feeling really sad, uh, but uh, now it's okay. We got the everything cleaned and oiled. Then I decided to kind of practice because an electric bike is very different from a normal bike because there's more effort with a normal bike and an electric bike has the throttle like you can go fast but if you're like me and you've just ridden a bike in your life and that also like 15 years ago actually no I rode a bike in Bhopal uh, I don't remember um, how long that was maybe in 2014 uh, that was a fun experience but there was an effort and definitely a challenge of going up and down a hill was something that I found very difficult. Like I had to, I couldn't film this obviously because I was doing it, but I got a puncture and so I didn't, I couldn't ride up or down the hill. So I had to kind of push my daughter in the car, in the cycle up to the mechanic. So I, I was a bit afraid of um, the consequences of having a bike that didn't go up and down. So the nice thing about uh, electric bike is that you can kind of give a throttle and it helps you with the ups and downs of the little inclines and hills that you pass, flyovers. So that's what I kind of discovered, but of course I had to practice. So the first time I went out, it was just to the mechanic and I kind of roamed around and uh, George kind of shot me um, a little bit and he also came on the bike and we you know, tested it because I also want to be confident to carry Zoe on the bike. So we did that. But uh, primarily with Zoe, I'm a bit weary because I want to be super confident first and then maybe ride with her. But this is actually just the second time I've ridden, but I've ridden many kilometers. So I haven't calculated, but I'm quite far. 
uh, you will see wobbling, wobbling, wobbling because I haven't found a way to uh, put my camera in a steady way. But uh, interesting, uh, fascinating experience. Very um, over uh, what empowering. Yeah, I'm feeling very empowered. But I'm also like I got one curse, like not curse, but I got one guy doing one Italian thing. Like, what are you doing? How are you riding? But that's because I did a, a very sharp cut into the ride. But as a person who used to ride cycles when they were a kid, I love this. And, and definitely, this is the way to go if you want to kind of travel and you don't want to get a car, it's too expensive. And I would really recommend an electric cycle. I wasn't really sure that I was going to do this because I wasn't very confident. I'm, and there are places where I am getting off the bike and then walking with the bike. But um, like I say in the video, there's no shame to admit that you can't. So th th there is a point when there was traffic and I was too scared. So I stopped and then I walked with the cycle through the traffic crossing because I was a bit scared. As a 44 year old woman, it is a little frightening to get back on the <laughs> bike, <laughs> not horse, but uh, to get back on the bike and really empower myself in terms of road, traffic, and I started cycling when I was a kid in Jaipur. And then in school, we went on a, like through the Shiva Lakes from Masuri to Sahanpur on the highway. So I was pretty, I would say I was pretty good at cycling. And then again, we went from Masuri to Dehradun, um, uh bicycles. So, but I was familiar with like highway. I was not really, I've never ridden that much in a city. Uh, and then in Bhopal, I think I took the cycle out once or twice. But apart from that, I'm not really used to the culture. And Bombay is a completely different uh, like mindset. Like there are people walking, there are cows, there's cow dung, there is, at least the, where I stay, uh, there's a lot of cow dung. Um, there are bikes, there are tempos, there are trucks, there are, you know, buses. Um, the most aggressive I find are two wheelers. I got like, like, grief by two people who, you know, like, I feel like nobody allows anybody to learn. Everyone just wants everyone to be an expert. But I was learning, and I think I'm going to put a big L sign on my bike so people understand that, you know, please be patient with me. I'm, I'm learning. So the electric bike is pretty cool. It's in interesting. But I, uh, and I would recommend everybody get it, but there is a learning curve and it, it's not, like my fingers are hurting because I'm used to pedaling, I'm not yet used to giving a throttle, so my wrist and all is, were, was more in use yesterday than my legs were. So in this bike, you have two ways. One is pedal assist, where you pedal and then the bike starts and gives you that assistance. And then the second way is where uh, you just use a bike like a Luna, like a motorbike. That that sometimes is better because it gives you that um, confidence. But I also like the fact that if my battery runs out, I would um, be able to pedal back or at least walk my cycle back. That's the advantage of not getting a scooter. I didn't want to get a scooter. I wanted to get a bicycle because the bicycle gives me a lot more benefits, like it is a bicycle when the battery runs out. It, it's good for my health when the battery runs out. Um, there is something fun and very quaint about a bicycle versus a scooter. Uh, definitely a scooter is faster, more efficient, more powerful. <laughs> Here are my thoughts on riding an electric cycle. Um, number one is uh, it's a breeze, it's so nice. My electric cycle is not uh, got a gear, but it's pretty cool. And uh, I don't understand how people can use a phone and uh, ride or look left or right. Even to put the camera on, I had to stop, go to the side and then stop. So um, yeah, it's fun, but it's also you have to be really careful because like I'm wearing gloves. I've got my socks right up. Uh, it is 
easy to get carried away with speed because it's so fast and you do feel bad because other cycle other motors of vehicles are going really fast and you're like mm. but um, pedal assist i love pedal assist because when i'm going in an incline the bike helps me and then i can um, i can manage i'm still not very good at sharp turns uh, those crazy ones i have to like i feel like there's no shame in admitting that you can't do it so especially downhill sharp turns i don't do those i just get off i'm like old enough to understand that um, there is wisdom in not having an accident so but um, really uh, interesting i would recommend that uh, like now that they're making cycles with um, like batteries i think everyone must buy them because this is like so awesome like especially since i live in vasai it's a lot like a village so it's quite nice to kind of venture out and go for a drive so yesterday my um my route was evershine city where i stay uh, all the way to madhuban madhuban is like this isolated area with big roads and no traffic little traffic uh very nice for walking very nice for cycling and then from madhuban i went to gas road which was heavy traffic intense riders complete party people who do not have any road sense or any respect for people although i managed okay in uh, gas road and then from gas road taking the left to go towards um i don't know the name bangli i think it's called uh where um then i took a cut and went to rangaon a uh, beach um this is a long way to be 2 hours but um it was interesting to kind of get a hang of things like i'm not afraid to go to gas road anymore when you're riding it's pretty nice it's it's it feels good with the breeze and the cool air so it's nice the more you ride it the more confident you get so i'm ready to kind of be more confident in my riding and now if someone says you want to go to the mall i'll be like yeah sure um the tips that i would give you is um use pedal assist and the electric element of the bike because it really preserves your battery i traveled almost 40 45 kilometers and only one bar of battery is gone from my battery so it's a good battery i got a 16 um, amp battery which is kind of heavy i i will have much more to share uh, about this bike adventures but this was my initial initial purchase and initial thoughts i'm showing you the delivery the washing as well as the the riding uh, process and i hope this has helped you and feel free to ask me questions in the comment section and i will be happy to address them you can get an electric bike for as cheap as 17000 to 34000 to 50000 to 1 lakh you know this is mid range i needed a seat and i needed a basket in front so those were my you know like specifications that i wanted in a bike so i don't know if you can see the sunlight in my face but i have reached rangao beach in vasai i drove from vasai east and shine all the way to rangao which is in the west at the sea okay it was hard i am pedaling but i'm also using pedal assist uh, i took a really long time to reach but sometimes i put the like right now i'm using the accelerator so it's nice i know my camera is shaking but i just wanted to show you that but my concentration phase is really terrible but i do need to concentrate <laughs> So I've gotten two, like galleys, not galleys, hand galleys. So when you are on the road, people don't uh, bother giving you galleys; they'll give you hand gestures. It's very Italian. <laughs> okay. So I'm reaching the beach soon, like literally in 30 seconds. I think. It's quite an adventure. As you can see, my face is all red. It feels like a hike. It feels like a day trip. It is not. I can't just ride to the beach. So 
I have my hand on the. Uh, thanks for joining me and uh, yes, I will catch you on the next video. Bye!